right, so I want to show you a demonstration of, uh, of some new technology that we've put together uh, and a new application of that technology. So we're talking today about Pindrop's Deep Voice Biometric System, uh, and we've put together a prototype of how that might work uh, in uh, an, a voice-enabled uh, Internet of Things application with an Amazon Echo. Uh, one of the things that we see happening in the technology landscape is this emergence of voice-enabled devices, and there is really it's really taking off. Uh, pretty soon, we are going to be operating in a conversational economy where we interact with most of our devices by voice. Um, and one of the things that um, that we see already happening, uh, you know, you search by voice, you navigate by voice. Uh, you play music by voice, but there's a sort of hesitation on the part of lots of enterprises to enable transactions where the stakes are fairly high because the idea of identity in this environment, in these voice-enabled devices, is a little bit murky. Um, and so uh, in order to enable those transactions, there's going to have to be a strong form of identity. And that's a thing that Pendrop is really good at. Our mission is to provide real-time security, trust, and identity for every voice interaction. Um, and we've got a lot of practice doing that with enterprises. And we've pulled some of that technology together into this prototype that I want to show you, which protects, in this case, Bitcoin transactions uh, through Coinbase uh, using nothing more than my voice. Uh, now, a little bit about that setup. So this Amazon Echo talks to our servers rather than Amazon's. And our servers are set up to run not only the parts that interpret what we want to do um, through utterances to the Echo, but also who is saying those using Pindrop's deep voice engine. Uh, and if the person saying it is me, uh, and then uh, we enable the transaction to proceed to Coinbase's very nice API. Uh, Coinbase doesn't offer an Alexa skill to do this, but they do offer a great API, which we've integrated here. And so you'll actually see real transactions occur in my Coinbase account, my personal money here on the, <laughs> on the line. Um, and uh, when, we, when I instruct it to buy or sell Bitcoin, you'll see that transaction appear right here and it's really actually pretty quick. Uh, so let's try that out. Alexa, what is Bitcoin trading at? BTC is trading at 8,643 US dollars and eight cents. Alexa? How much do I have in my Bitcoin wallet? Matt, your BTC wallet has 0.00323978 BTC worth about 28 US dollars. Now right there we see the first difference. She called me by name. She knows that I'm me and uh, she's telling me the balance in my account. So there's a little bit of personalization there and there's a little bit of protection, right? I don't want everybody to know how little I have in my Bitcoin <laughs> wallet. Alexa, sell $7 of Bitcoin. Ready to place your order to sell seven US dollars of BTC. Proceed. Alexa, yes. You'll see that transaction show up right here. Matt, your order to sell 0 0.0009357 BTC for seven US dollars has been placed with reference code CWRG7MTY. Wow, that's incredible. All right, so We've sold Bitcoin using just my voice, um, but obviously I want that to be tied to just my voice. So why don't you try and sell some of my Bitcoin? You mind if I empty out your wallet? Go for it. All right. Alexa, sell $20 in Bitcoin. Ready to place your order to sell 20 US dollars of BTC. Proceed. Alexa, yes. Sorry, you are not authorized for this action. That's so, awesome. So it works for my voice, not for your voice. That's great, right? Yeah. One of the things that is happening in technology, though, uh, is that there are, there are vast advances in lots of different voice technologies. And one of the things that we see occurring is the emergence of targeted voice synthesis technology. So uh, if you... Uh, have audio from uh, somebody's YouTube videos or uh, you know, from any other source, uh, with just a little bit of that audio, researchers can take uh, that, that audio and produce a model of your voice and then gener uh, generates your speech from whatever text they type in. 
Um, and, and it's a little unnerving to, for when that happens to you. And I know because our research team has done this with my voice. They took <laughs> webinar video and other, other marketing material that we have here of me speaking and they produced a model of my voice. Um, and so uh, I've got it set up here where we're gonna generate some instructions uh, to Coinbase uh, using my synthetic voice. And obviously I don't want those to succeed. And so what we've done is we've built into the system the ability to detect synthetic speech. Um, and what we're looking for uh, are the characteristics that, that distinguish that from human speech. Now, there's an interesting thing that'll happen when you hear this audio. You will think simultaneously, that sounds like Matt, and that's not really Matt. Um, your brain does this, this interesting thing where it, it it assesses both of those things at the same time. And in essence, that's what we're doing behind the scenes of this prototype. We are measuring the match to the voice biometric system and saying, yeah, that sounds like Matt. And we're measuring the, the uh, synthetic nature of the speech. And we're saying that's not actually him. And so you'll, you should see that uh, in, in this demo. So let's see what this sounds like. Alexa. Sell $7 of Bitcoin. Ready to place your order to sell 7 US dollars of BTC. Proceed. Alexa, yes. I am sorry. I think you are trying to imitate Matt Garland. All right. So she distinguished that that was Matt that was trying to be imitated, but that it wasn't really Matt, right? That it... The same thing that happened in your brain when you heard the audio yeah. happened in this system uh, when it heard the audio. And so we're able to, to distinguish that characteristic and respond to that attack. Not, not respond in the same way that you know uh, somebody that happens to be using my echo gets kept out, but, but respond in a very active way. Um, you know, it's interesting, you notice through that whole demo that I didn't have to say who I was. I didn't have to say a username, I didn't have to say a password, I didn't have to say a pin, none of those things. My identity flowed naturally from my voice and we've, we eliminated all of the friction of that authentication uh, to make the conversational economy real and trustworthy. That, that's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. You're